Hi guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to be bringing to you another super easy to make, busy night, weeknight meal that comes together in even under 30 minutes. This one cooks in like 15 minutes, so you really can't beat that. It's flavorful, it's elegant, and it's delicious. It's called salmon and papillote. I don't know if I said it right, but basically it's salmon cooked in parchment paper and you could substitute salmon for any of your favorite firm white fish, but we're going to go over the ingredients and we're going to get started and this is going to be ready just like that. So I have two salmon fillets, I have some melted butter, salt, pepper, we don't need the olive oil today, but you can substitute the olive oil for butter if you wanted to. I have some very finely sliced uh, green bell pepper, you can use any bell pepper you want, some fresh dill, lemon whole garlic cloves, finely sliced scallions, also known as green onions or spring onions, and then I have some asparagus spears that I've just sliced down the middle in half so that way they can cook evenly. So the really important thing uh, when preparing this recipe is that you can use any vegetables that you have on hand any vegetables that are in season, you can finely slice mushrooms, zucchini, which is one of my favorite um, things to eat during the spring, spinach, you could do fresh spinach leaves in here, I mean the sky's the limit, you can really do anything you want, any vegetables, but just make sure that you either thinly slice them or you cut them in half so that way they cook, um, they're fully cooked when they come out because this is just going to cook in the oven for between 10 to 15 minutes so you want to make sure that everything is nice and fully cooked. Now we're just going to put everything together. So the only thing that I didn't prepare yet is my dill so I'm just going to finely chop it and dill just adds such a beautiful aroma. Any herbs that you have and you put in here they're just going to be very, they're just going to add so much flavor because the fish is going to be basically steamed in the paper and just we want to use really really flavorful ingredients. So before we start I'm just going to lightly season with some salt and pepper my asparagus and my bell peppers because as you know if you've been watching this channel everything needs to be seasoned for maximum flavor and salt and pepper does the trick every time that's really all you need. So basically just fold the um, piece of parchment paper over just like you would a book and open it up and on one side we're going to layer the vegetables so I'll put some asparagus first and we'll also brush the parchment which we should have done with some butter. Let's move these over and we'll put them back up just a little so everything gets some flavor. So we're going to put some asparagus, some of the bell peppers, a piece of fish, let me season both sides before we put it on here with some salt and then we'll do the top with some black pepper and then we're just going to squeeze some lemon juice on top maybe one to two tablespoons should be good half of a small lemon does the trick we're going to drizzle some of the butter about a tablespoon of butter on top we're going to top with some of the sliced scallions and then we're just going to grate a garlic clove on the microplane just like this then all you have to do is fold the package over and then we're going to create little pleats or creases all the way around to seal it. And when you get down to the bottom, just fold it over. And you can totally put it in the pan just like this, but I'm just going to put an extra piece of protection using the foil. Just gonna put it in there. Let's go all around the sides like that. I'm going to do the same thing with my second little, my second piece of fish and then we're going to put it in the oven. So my two parcels of fish and vegetables are ready. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to pop these in there for anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. It just depends on how well done you like your fish. So, you know, gauge that depending on the thickness and the type of fish that you're using. But I'm going to show you what it looks like as soon as they come out. The, puff, the, the parchment should puff up with all the steam and it's just going to be delicious. So mine took 15 minutes in the oven to 
to bake and it puffs up slightly from the steam and it just smells divine so we're just going to open it up and when you open it up and you cut into it be very careful because the steam in it is very hot don't want to get burned but let me show you you see that Simple, delicious, ready in 15 minutes. It takes like 10 minutes to put it all together. So this is another one of those 30 minute meals that will impress. It's good for one or 21, so you can make it for yourself or just for you and your family on a busy weeknight, but it is elegant enough to entertain with and serve guests when they come over. Serve it alongside my chickpea rice pilaf, which will, the recipe will either be up before or after this, so look out for it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. The recipe will be on my website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Thank you guys for spending time with me today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.